It was. It was one of those TV moments, and it and it happened to you. The, the, what I think it's just surprised everybody so much was the, the the planning that went into this. The fact you'd filmed that footage t two years ago. Yeah. Did you have in the back of your head at the time that you were going to use this for a trick for Britain's Got Talent? What, what was the process? Pretty then? much, I, I'd contemplated doing Britain's Got. I think every performer <laughs> does contemplate doing Britain's Got Talent because it's such a huge platform, and if you do well on it, it can be great. If you don't do so well on it, then Mm. People normally don't really remember anyway. So, and I contemplated doing it, and it, about sort of th uh, three years ago, I thought, you know, maybe I'll go, maybe I'll go. And then everything that happened to Tessa with the diagnosis of her cancer and um, the IVF and Isabella coming along, um, I, I kind of took myself out of performing anyway mm. um, and took a bit of a back seat to kind of just be a husband and a potential father to, to look after. Tessa and, and who would become Isabella. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but I, yeah, I always, I always plan ahead. So I know if I, if I'm lucky enough to make it to the final, I already know what I'm doing. Do well, you, uh, you said that um, watching that back, even now watching that back, makes you emotional. And it, and it is for anyone who didn't see it. It is a hell of a story. Um, you're desperately trying for a baby for ten years, five uh, natural, uh, um, and you. you five natural attempts, five IVF attempts, you know, sort of your const sure. constant, you tried everything yeah, to yeah. have this baby and then you get the joy, the last possible IVF attempt and, uh, and oh my goodness, it's worked. Yeah, absolutely. And then right. the euphoria of that happening and then, as you said, you're hit with the worst possible news. Yeah, I mean, it was complete contrast. You can imagine the euphoria and just, we're going to be parents after all this time, which was a, a, an amazing thing. And so we never, we, we kind of, we, we kind of got to the point where we realised it, it might not happen, and then we were so surprised that it actually did. Because uh, Isabella was a frozen embryo; she was frozen for a year, so she's beaten David Blaine and his <laughs> <laughs> frozen <laughs> yeah. thing. But um, but yeah, then to have the diagnosis of the cancer uh, in Tessa, and this was this was breast cancer. This it was, was an aggressive. It was ignored it because she thought it might be part of the pregnancy. She it was it was about a two or three week period that she said, oh, you know, all my friends are telling me that you know your boobs. Well, your hormones you, change. You exactly. get lumpy. Everything's yeah, yeah. growing Milk and changing. And it's so like, many exactly. things. Yeah. So um, so she she kind of sort of said, oh, it'd be it'd be fine because we were so happy about you know the pregnancy. And um, and then I just I always err on the side of caution. I just said let's yeah, let's just tick did. that off. Let's just get that ticked off. And then you're I mean the amazing oncologist uh, who had to then balance between sort of keeping your keeping your wife's treatment going and battling the cancer, this aggressive yeah. cancer, but also looking after your unborn child and making yeah. sure that she wasn't being yeah. affected by it. So absolutely. And, that, and thank God, as we've seen there, your beautiful daughter Isabella is alive, and your wife, and yeah. and and this story thankfully has a very Happy ending. Yeah, and it's just one of those things whereby, you know, when I did the performance and I came up with the idea, I always said to Tessa, if ever I do Britain's Got Talent, you know, I would do it as a dedication to, to you. I knew what concept it would be. And I never wanted it to be, it's not supposed to come across, I know people have gotten really emotional watching it, mm. but it was never supposed to be a sob story. What it's supposed to be is a realisation uh, of what real magic is to me now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been, it's I've been, also, you, you know, know, for us, it was, it was breathtaking. It was, and as I watched it on Saturday, because I thought, right, OK, you got the golden buzzer, what an amazing moment that was, I'm quite right too. Thank you. Uh, because it was so unusual and it was so heart-wrenching. Yeah. And I just thought, how's he going to top this? He's straight into the semi-final now. You are going to have to have something pretty damn special up your sleeve, which I'm assuming you filmed years ago. <laughs> when I was four. No. <laughs> um, no. Uh, I've, I've, I always knew, because I've, I've done this for a living, um, I plan ahead. Yeah. You're always thinking further and further along the line. So I knew what I would do first, second and third. Yeah. If I was lucky enough to get into the final, which, fingers crossed, that's, you know... 